For the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Soldiers with K-4's Battle Group East, staying on top of their game can mean life or death. You always got to practice your skills so that you're up to speed on whatever you need to respond to. We could respond to an HME lab tomorrow, and if you haven't done one in a couple years, you might want to brush the cobwebs off. Homemade explosive labs can be especially dangerous for an EOD technician. I mean, the explosive hazard itself is always going to be dangerous. It's inherently dangerous to anybody, so our job is to make sure that it's safe for other people. It's why we wear the badge. It's part of our job. One of the key aspects of EOD training is a realistic environment. Training is actually very realistic. Uh, we do a lot of really good work to acquire the certain the needs that we need to. So like our team leader that ran me on this problem uh, today, he went out and made sure that he acquired what you could actually use. So I will learn from my other team leaders. So everybody's going to run a scenario differently. Uh, so I might learn a skill or a procedure that I, from another team leader that I never thought of. And by doing that, I might use it at a later point in time. Reporting from Camp Bonsdale, Kosovo, I'm Sergeant Bill Washburn.